Hello everyone. Welcome to this video. In this video we'll be talking about for loops with JavaScript code. Now to begin with JavaScript has several uh, types of loops. There's the for loop, I believe there's the for each loop, and there's the while do loop. And I know I'm missing one more. However, in, in either case, we'll only be going over one loop. That's the for loop. So let's go ahead and begin. So to look at the text file, let's go ahead and start with looking at that through, uh, through a text file. We'll look at the code. So I go ahead and open it up. And as you can see, this is a normal document. And as we've been doing in all of my other previous JavaScript documents, um, we start out by creating an HTML file and then embedding JavaScript code in that file. So as I have it highlighted here, we'll make it a little bigger. This is all of my uh, HTML tags right here, right? And then of course, to print the JavaScript code onto the HTML document, we're going to name an ID. This is the paragraph ID, and we've named it vehicles. Okay, because what we're going to do, as you can see right here, we we created a an array. Okay, we called it cars, and then inside that array, we we uh, have let's see five cars. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, six cars. We have Chevy, Ford, Dodge, Jeep, Buick and Nissan okay so you can name your you can name your uh, array whatever you want to instead of cars you can name it animals instead of animals you can name it furniture and then you just go ahead and fill it in appropriately okay and then we have a variable that we named text okay and then we just gave it an empty value right and so then we have one more variable, and we named that i. And notice we didn't give that any value. Okay? So that's what we did. The first thing we did in our script, we went ahead and created an array and two variables. Right? And then for the for loop, what we did was we started out with the, for, with the keyword for. That's that. And then in between the parentheses, we got some code for the uh, for loop. Let's go over that. So the first thing we got is we got the, um, the i variable. And then we gave it a value of 0, right? And then we got a semicolon. And then we take that same i variable, which has 0. And then we, we give it something to do. In this case, we have an operator that says, as long as i is less than, and then this is our array, cars dot length. The length is the property of our array, and it's going to print out the length of the values that's in our array, right? And just so you guys know, arrays, uh, to throw a little bit of uh, knowledge your way, an array starts it doesn't it doesn't count like a human does a human would say this is one this is two this is three this is four five and six no an array is zero uh, based which means it starts with the number zero so this will be zero one two three four and five that's um, that's that's the way most arrays work in most uh, programs um, just to give you that little bit of information you'll need that for later on um, uh, classes when you deal more with arrays but in either case so let's go back to our for loop so we started out with the I variable and we gave it a value of zero and then we said what we wanted to do is as long as i is less than the array of cars 
go ahead and print it out right we want it to go ahead and print it out one at a time all right that's what this this means the I plus plus some people would call it interrating okay uh, and that just means go through and print out all of these one at a time until until there's no more uh, elements to print out each one of these strings right here is considered an element okay all right and so then inside our open and close bracket for the for loop we have our text variable this is the variable that had an empty value in it with the uh, two quotes and semicolon semicolon and then in that we say uh, uh, go ahead and add the amount of cars in this uh, or the amount of cars array in this element right and that's all this this means is go ahead and print out all of the uh, elements in the cars array okay and then give it a new line every time it prints out and then of course you have the uh, the method down here at the bottom document dot get element by ID if you've looked at my previous JavaScript uh, videos you should be familiar with this by now and then of course we named the ID vehicles and remember as we've said in previous other uh, uh, videos your I your whatever your ID is whatever you name here okay for your paragraph ID should be the same name down here in your document dot get element by ID right and then you have your your property right here which is enter HTML equals and then the text which means that the for loop will go through this array and it will print out everything in this array it'll add it to the text and again it'll look through the array and it'll print it out one line at a time okay I hope that is explainable I hope that's understood okay so let's go ahead and save this minimize it we'll go to our four dot html document double click on it it should open up in our default default browser which for me is firefox and then as you can see it printed out my, our array our car array okay and it printed out one line at a time of course you can go back over this and manipulate it as much as you want uh, if you want them all on the same line you could just take out BR right go ahead resave the document and it should print them all out all on the same line let's look at that and see hit the refresh button and there you go oops we probably want to put a we probably want to put a, 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 a comma space after each one let's see if that works refresh it oops that didn't work at all okay then we can do a uh, plus sign comma or wait a minute comma let's see if that works you could just take your doc you could just take your code and and mess around with it each you know each way like that or okay let's do this then oh I know how we can do it we come back up to our array and we put a space in between each one here you can either put it in the front of the uh, string or behind it go ahead and save it like that come back up here and hit the refresh screen and there you go and of course obviously you can go ahead and put your uh, your commas on the inside or you can use something else 
You can use some other symbol, periods, what have you. But that's how we would create a for loop in a JavaScript uh, code. And as, as we've been saying in previous videos, you just start with your um, open script tag and then your close script tag. And then in between that, that's where you put your JavaScript code. And this has been code for a for loop. So that's it for now. Thank you very much. I appreciate you looking at my video. Please like and subscribe. Have a good day and bye-bye.